Are you part of a nonprofit organization, a youth group looking to raise cash for your cause? Stay tuned at the end of this video to learn how you can bring the action and excitement of the Millennium Wrestling Federation to your town live, featuring the superstars and legends of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans from around the corner and around the world, welcome to another installment of Wrestling Insiders from MWF Studios just north of Boston in downtown Lowers, Mass. in the zip code of champions 02176. Let's preview WWE Great Balls of Fire coming to you this Sunday, July the 9th from the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. WWE has put together an exceptional lineup for this Raw Brand pay-per-view, without a doubt the strongest lineup since WrestleMania. Note, if you do not subscribe to WWE Network, Click the link below in the YouTube video. Get 30 days of WWE Network absolutely free. That'll get you not only Great Balls of Fire this Sunday, but the SmackDown brand Battleground pay-per-view live from Philadelphia, Sunday, July the 23rd. In a true must-see pay-per-view quality main event, it will be the WWE Universal Champion Brock Lesnar defending the title against Samoa Joe. This is Lesnar's first title defense since winning the title from Goldberg at WrestleMania 33. Samoa Joe won the Extreme Rules number one contenders five-way match last month in Baltimore. WWE's done an outstanding job in building up Joe, not only winning the match at Extreme Rules, but with wins over Rollins and Reigns on Raw throughout the month. I expect Lesnar to retain the title here headed into SummerSlam, but Samoa Joe benefits win, lose, or draw. His stock has risen over the past month, without a doubt. Of the five men in the number one contenders match last month, he was the least likely to win in the fans' eyes. Uh, and what's turned into a great month of promos and angles with Lesnar, Heyman, and Joe has benefited Joe the most. This is one of the most anticipated main events for WWE in recent years, in my opinion. In another hot match, Roman Reigns faces Braun Strowman in an ambulance match. WWE was planning on having this match at Extreme Rules before Strowman was injured and out of action uh, when he required surgery. His absence made for a hotter Extreme Rules main event, and it makes this follow-up match at Great Balls of Fire even hotter, more anticipated. Uh, Reigns has stated that he will face whoever is champion at SummerSlam, but what happens to that statement if Reigns loses to Strowman at Great Balls of Fire? To me, I see Strowman winning this match. It's an easy way for Reigns to lose without getting pinned, uh, simply hurting him and putting him in an ambulance. If Reigns loses and still goes on to SummerSlam, say he defeats Lesnar for the title, he has two top challenges already built in Strowman and Samoa Joe. Joe, remember, has beat Reigns twice on Raw. Uh, there were plans for a Reigns-Lesnar title match at WrestleMania, but if they're holding it at SummerSlam, uh, have main event plans changed for the big win in New Orleans next April? In another grudge match, Seth Rollins faces Bray Wyatt. Some good angles and promos building up this match. Why WWE wasted the first ever Rollins-Wyatt singles match on a very forgettable Raw last month is beyond me. I'm looking forward to this one a great deal. Uh, interesting to see what direction the company goes in here. If Lesnar is indeed going to retain the title through WrestleMania, certainly makes sense to see Rollins get the win and be a future challenger for Lesnar. Uh, Bray Wyatt is a lot like Dean Ambrose. No matter how many times he loses, he still stays over, but... He'll never reach an elite level because he loses so much. In an Iron Man match for the WWE Raw Tag Team title, Cesaro and Sheamus defend against the Hardy Boys. I wonder if 30 minutes could be too long for these two teams. I hate 30-minute Iron Man matches. I think they should either be 60 minutes or don't have them at all. Uh, with such few tag teams in the company, interesting to see what direction things go here. Sheamus and Cesaro lost the titles at WrestleMania, then regained them at Extreme Rules. Seeing yet another title switch with the same two teams involved really doesn't make sense to me. Uh, what happens if the Hardy Boys lose at Great Balls of Fire? Could they go the broken route if they're able to resolve the legal issues going on right now? Or do the Hardy Boys perhaps go the singles route as there's so much money waiting to be printed on some of the potential uh, Jeff Hardy singles matches? The Miz and Dean Ambrose collide for the Intercontinental title and it feels like the 493rd time they've faced each other 
over the past year. I like that Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel have been placed with The Miz. It gives them some rub. Having them at ringside could allow Miz to retain, as it seems like, again, it would be too soon to change the title here. Women's champion Alexa Bliss defense against Sasha Banks. I have to go with Bliss. I think this should be an extended program, as Sasha is obviously the top babyface on the Raw brand. Bliss has done a great job as the women's champion since switching over from SmackDown in April. Enzo Amore squares off with Big Cass in a battle of former tag team partners. Enzo has cut some really effective promos over the past two weeks. He's certainly going to outshine Cass on the stick. Other than size, what does Cass have going for him right now? I believe he lacks charisma, mic skills, and technical in-ring skills. Uh, wouldn't it be something if Enzo outshines him in the singles ranch? Nonetheless, a Cass is going to have every opportunity to succeed or fail with his great size. Expect Cass to get a clean win here and start a big push for him. Would love to see a Big Cass get a manager to be his mouthpiece. For the kickoff show, Cruiserweight champion Neville defends against Akira Dozawa, representing the Titus brand. After three months of Aries challenging for the title, this is refreshing. Titus O'Neil has really helped Tozawa get over the past few weeks. I don't know if now is the time for title change, where Neville has been so successful as a champion in recent months since he turned heel. I like the neville Tozawa chemistry. Would like to see this program extended as well. I expect to see Neville retain. If you're in the Dallas area and you want to be there live, tickets are on sale now for Great Balls of Fire, starting at only $25. Visit WWE.com for complete information on how you can be there live. Fans, would love to hear your predictions for Great Balls of Fire in the comment section below. Don't miss the fall from WrestleMania 33 on WWE Network. Using our link below, get 30 days free. This spring, WWE presents four live pay-per-views with Payback, Backlash, Extreme Rules, and Money in the Bank. Relive the ultimate thrill ride that was WrestleMania 33, plus brand new original programming, every pay-per-view in WWE history, and 7,000 plus hours of content in the archives. Spend $25 in the MWF store this month and get a free WWE t-shirt and a free autographed photo of WWE Hall of Famer Cowboy Bob Orton. We have brand new WWE t-shirts, posters, DVDs, autographs, and tons more. Best of all, every dollar you spend directly supports our live event and video production initiatives. Fans in over 30 countries can now enjoy our state-of-the-art studio shoot interview documentary collection on demand. You can rent our own select titles starting at only $5.99. Enjoy the wild Iron Sheik studio shoot interview as seen by millions online and on the Howard Stern Show. Relive the rock and wrestling era in the mid-80s as WWE Hall of Famers Paul Orndorff, Bob Orton, and the Iron Sheik break down the first WrestleMania. The Boogeyman, Paul Bearer, and Kamala join us for extensive breakdowns of their careers, promoters, and companies they worked for. We also have a new shoot with Bull Dempsey bringing you a backstage look at WWE NXT and the Performance Center. Again, every rental and purchase helps support independent wrestling. Subscribe to our YouTube channel with over 1,500 videos available absolutely free. Enjoy in-depth videos, live MWF wrestling, the latest news, historical videos, and tons more on youtube.com slash bostonwrestling.com. If you enjoy the free content, you can help the cause by making a donation of any size to paypal.me slash bostonwrestling. You can help the cause using our links below to shop on popular websites such as wweshop.com, amazon.com, and walmart.com. You get a small thank you for every customer sent their way, and best of all, it doesn't increase your purchase one penny. Finally, get a free ride from Uber using the, the links below. Forget about overpriced taxi cabs with long waits. Join 2017. Get a good ride from a friendly driver in a clean car on us for up to $20. Run out of time, fans. Don't miss a day on BostonWrestling.com Super Site. Like us at Facebook.com slash MWF Action. Follow us on Twitter at MWF2001 and subscribe to us at YouTube.com slash BostonWrestling.com. <laughs>The Millennium Wrestling Federation's 15th anniversary tour begins this fall and rolls into 2017 throughout New England, down the East Coast, and into the Carolinas. If your nonprofit organization is looking for an interactive, turnkey experience while putting the fun into fundraising, you've met the perfect tag team partner. MWF offers a variety of packages for groups of almost any size. From our live events at the Boston Garden, the Kowloon Entertainment Dining Complex, and the legendary Suffolk Downs, to high school gyms and function halls, we've presented live events everywhere. Since 2001, the MWF's mission has been simple. Keep the kids off the streets. Under the leadership of President Dr. David Reese, we bring the superstars of yesterday, today, and tomorrow to your town, not for a quote-unquote wrestling show, but an event that features action-packed in-ring wrestling, autograph and pose photo opportunities, question and answer sessions, and much more. It is the best of sports and entertainment. 
the week of your event, we can add on to the endeavor with anti-bullying campaigns, library meet and reads, youth sport concussion seminars, and more. Our live events are fit for fans of every age, from 5 to 95. This fall is part of our new Kids Club program. We offer live event experiences exclusively for the youngest of fans. On the flip side, we can also produce a tailor-made event for fans of an older demographic as well. We work with you every single step of the way to get the word out to fans near and far, on our local television offerings, and to over 50,000 fans and growing on our social media platform. Your success is our success. If your group has had enough of boring candy bar and wrapping paper sales and has the energy to team with our passionate fan base, bringing the MWF experience to your community is the answer to put smiles on faces while raising cash for your cause. Contact us today to get the ball rolling for your custom-made event that you'll want to bring back year after year. Don't just take it from us. Here are folks we've teamed with in the past. know Kowloon Restaurant, established in 1950 and spanning four generations, serves a multi-Asian menu. Did you also know that Kowloon Restaurant is New England's premier Asian dining and entertainment complex, serving Cantonese, Szechuan, Thai, and Polynesian cuisine? And did you know that Kowloon Restaurant is also the home of the finest Japanese sushi? If you haven't dined at Kowloon Restaurant lately, then you simply haven't dined at Kowloon. Kowloon Restaurant, Route 1 North in Saugus.